I'm Andrew Livingston. I'm a professor here at Imperial College in the Department of Chemical Engineering. And my expertise and my passion is the separation of molecules using membranes. This last weekend at Imperial College, we hosted the Imperial College Festival, which is a wonderful celebration of, of the wonder and excitement that we have about the research we do. And we shared that with the general public, alumni, and many people that came to visit the festival. The first bike, we call it the distillation bike, we took that electricity and we used it in the same way that you would use a kettle to boil water for your cup of tea. For the membrane bike, we use the pump and the pump pumps the water against the membrane and the purified water passed through the membrane. The contaminants in the water weren't able to pass through. Well, there's two adults and they're biking and they each bike for about a minute. It turns out that the distillation bike can produce two or three drops of water, whereas the membrane bike can produce 100 to 150 mils of water. Now the key difference is that in the distillation bike, we have to provide enough energy to take the molecules of water and force them far apart in the vapor before we condense them again and collect the water. In the membrane bike, we leave the water as a liquid and we push it up against the membrane. The water passes through the membrane as water and we don't have to worry about forcing the molecules far apart. And it's that key difference between boiling and not boiling that means that when you have two adults, both biking as fast as they can, Typically, in a minute, an adult will produce two to three drops from the distillation bike and 100 to 150 milliliters from the membrane bike. So this was a, a way of illustrating the power that membrane technology has to recover liquids in purified form with much better energy efficiency than distillation. I guess over the weekend, we had hundreds of people come to our display and all of them got on the bikes. We had parents racing against their children, but every time the membrane bike produced about 50 to 100 times more water than the distillation bike.